Hey, it's cast. We're going to be melting down this box of construction wires into a bar of copper. So here I'm taking all of the copper wires out of the uh, yellow sleeves. Uh, this took a long time. I'm actually at this time. I'm not even done. It ticks. It's very tedious. And on top of that, they're in even smaller sleeves. You can see right here, uh, only some of them are already exposed. That's the, the ground wire that goes, uh, that's like the, I'm pretty sure that's just extra electricity. I don't know a whole lot about this kind of stuff, but um, some of this is already exposed. The other stuff takes a long time to take out of the plastic. So, uh, I just wanted to show you uh, the, the process I take when I take these wires out. Uh, when it's about this size, it's in straight like this, not too many bends. I just like to take these uh, plier wire cutters, whichever ones are closer, and just yank them out like that. And the other two. Pretty easy. Um, sometimes I'll have to cut them in half or or uh, take a knife and cut right down the middle of the sleeve um, which takes even longer obviously but uh, I just wanted to because uh, those time lapses they don't show it very well but this is about how much I got out of that it's kind of hard to see this is about one foot of wire when it's fold in half um, maybe you can't really see that how far around they are but yeah, and Decent. here it is. These are the wires we got uh, from uh, the construction sleeved wires. Uh, a lot, actually, and for scale. I'm not sure how many of you know how big that is. That's a, your average pop ball. And I don't know, I feel like this is a lot of copper. I'm gonna make a really good ingot. Um, uh, not to mention, my dad actually helped me with a 20 foot wire just like that. And from that alone, this is how much wire we got from it. 20 feet of that yellow wire, that's how much we got. It's so you'll be able to notice in this time lapse um, just how much copper is here. I didn't get a good angle for it because I wanted to capture as much as I could. I even had it at widescreen with my phone. Couldn't get a whole lot of what's going on. but. Um, the way I stripped them was put them in the vise, straighten them out, cut them, cut the sleeve with a cardboard knife, and that was it. Each, each one really took me like 10 seconds. In total, I think I spent like five hours just standing in place, right, stripping so wires. The pile of wires we got from all those uh, uh, coated wires. Sorry if I have shaky hands, you know, it's kind of early in the morning, and I just have shaky hands it it's kind of inconvenient for my hobby but oh well um so this is i'm not sure how much copper this is but this is the mold we're going to use i just barely got this a couple days ago uh it's a 200 ounce i believe uh pretty heavy um and i'm confident this is not all gonna fit in one ingot but I'm really excited to use it for the first time. Um. So here you can see I'm turning on the propane. Um, this is uh, hooked up to the foundry, which is nothing more than a big metal bucket with a torch stuffed into the side of it. That's really all it is. Um, <clears throat> the way the torch works is there's a, a pipe going through another pipe and at the at the very back of the larger pipe, there are some holes being covered by an even bigger pipe. You move the bigger pipe uh, over the medium pipe and oxygen goes into the foundry with the propane. 
and that makes it burn mm, lots, lots hotter. Uh, if that's how you say it, I know it's not, but I can't edit it out, so I'm leaving it. Um, so here you can see <clears throat> I'm putting like a fourth of the total amount of copper into the, the foundry. Man, that looks nearly perfect. Awesome. Let's go put this where it can't hurt anyone. Back in the foundry.
go. So these are the bars we got. Um, this was the first cast I did. Um, I'm pretty sure I know why it turned out so terrible. And it's because I didn't preheat the mold enough. So you can see all the weird... Uh, I'm not sure what to call that, but yeah. And then I preheated it uh, better the second time and it turned out pretty much perfect. Um, except for a little bit of spillage here, but that, that's easy fix. Um, um, I had troubles, like I had this piece of rebar I'd use to stir it around and get the slag, uh, more refined, I guess you could say. i get more of the copper out of the slag before I got rid of it, which I didn't have a whole lot at all. Uh, this, this came off of here. Um, and then my little slag spoon was being stupid and took literally 99.9 .9 trillion percent copper with it. So honestly, with all this extra stuff here, I could make a little coin. In fact, there's still more over by the, where I did it. Oh, I'm really mad about that though. My first time making these bars though, I'm pretty happy with them. So basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take them over to the belt sander. Um, I saw a YouTuber do this once. He would uh, just set it down, let it run, and it would grind it flat. Um, not this, this one needs it too much. That one was just the poor sight, but that's really it. Um, I'm not sure what to do about that. I don't wanna grind it down too much, but yeah, that's all I'm really gonna do. So. Next little bit's just going to be a time lapse of me cleaning these up and whatever. So, let's do it. So after about 15 minutes on the belt sander, this is what the first bar looks like. Um, I'm, um, the motor started to heat up and I was having a few issues with it trying to uh, actually, it would shift its way this way and uh, almost fall off sometimes. I had to add some craft sticks to the bottom and that still didn't fix it, but at this point, I'm able to just take the grinder to it and uh, take all this deeper crap out of it and the sides make them look good. As for this one, um, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna make it not look quite as ugly. I don't know about all these really deep spots. Those are gonna be a pain and a half, but yeah, as of just right now, I'm just going to focus on this bar. All right, so this is what I've done to it. Um, I've cleaned it up, first of all, for the most part. Um, I gave it, gave it a cool edge design for the for the sides. Instead of just a, an immediate drop off, I give it like a, I'm not sure what to call this, just like a, a slanted drop off. You can kind of see it like that. Um, and then I, took my pins um, and well I've only used them once which was this time I'm not very good at it yet but yeah as for this one I didn't grind it I did take the wire brush to it to make it 
look actually a lot better. Um, I feel like grinding it would just take way too much off to make it even look decent. So, and honestly, I think it, it looks just fine like this. And there you have it. This, this was like 100 feet of wire just recently. It's just a big couple of bars. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then do whatever you want. I'm not one of those YouTubers. Have a good day. See ya.